Hey there, my name is David Raffoff, and uh, today I'm going to be talking a bit about how to get started in programming or how to have a career in programming. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a series of videos that's geared both towards people just starting out and people who have um, have established careers that have been, you know, programming for a while or have been doing software engineering for a while. Um, I get this question a lot, like where to get started, and um, it's a tough question to answer because it depends a lot. Uh, it depends a lot on what your goals are. Um, like what industry you want to go to, go into, what kind of projects you want to work on, um, what kind of, you know, like specialty you want to have. Um, if you're going to be working on like mobile apps, web apps, um, machine learning, uh, game development, like it, that can really have a big impact on um, the way you approach it. Uh, and that includes everything from like the kinds of programming languages you'll work with, the kind of frameworks um, that you'll use for your projects, uh, even the way like your teams are structured and how they work can differ um, kind of based off off of those parameters. Uh, so it's not an easy, easy question to answer. The other the other trick is it's a process. So you're not going to learn all this stuff at once. Like, uh, you know, I've been doing programming in one form or another for like almost 20 years, maybe 25 years. And like I still learn all kinds of stuff every day. <laughs> so I think one thing you want to keep in mind is like that's just the way it is. Like you're constantly having to learn. And even if you're not learning like the latest language or the latest framework, there's just it's it's uh, there's so many areas where you can go very deep that you just need to be excited about learning new things and about what it is that you're working on. Uh, and, you, and you need to be willing to. Um, to really kind of like dig in and work through problems because you're going to get stuck and books will help you to a degree. You can ask questions online or like Stack Overflow can help you to some degree, but there is just. Um, you really do just need to be prepared to like, you know, work through some uh, difficult problems or, um, you know, ask, be comfortable asking people to like help you out or whatever. Um, but it's not just something you're going to be able to do. Um, uh, nobody's going to be able to teach you everything directly that you need to know. Like it's a lot of exploration. So <clears throat> I think that's probably like the most uh, important thing I would tell you. But then there's, there's all these other things um, that you'll want to learn and do along the way. Like, you know, it's not all about just learning um, whatever the languages that you're going to be using for what you're building. Like you need, you'll you'll want to learn about um, a little bit about like user experience. You'll want to learn about, you know, how you're actually making sure that what you're delivering is like valuable to uh, clients. You'll want to learn. Uh, you want you want to make sure that your writing code that you can go back and easily change later on is like requirements change or um, as you just take the project in like a totally different direction. Uh, and one of the hardest problems in uh, software engineering is is writing things that are easy to change, doing that with teams, doing it in a way where you can, um, you know, deliver software that has a minimal number of bugs. Uh, so anyway, there's just even on the technical side, like there's there, there's a lot of different things to figure out. Uh, and then there's another angle on it, which is, um, you know, if you're treating it as a career, there's probably other things you'll need to be doing. Um, so, for example, you know, like networking is very important. You want to be going to uh, local meetups and uh, conferences and, you know, maintain a blog, do videos, something, just some way to get your name out there. So you're, you know, you're meeting people, you're, um, you're, you're putting it out in the world, like what it is you're interested in doing. So that's going to increase your likelihood of like finding other people who are interested in those same things and it may even you know turn into job opportunities for things that you're um, specifically interested in that maybe aren't of just like general interest to everybody um, so yeah there's there's a lot of different angles on this um, so anyway I'll be doing more videos along these lines um, if you have like questions specific questions um, that you'd like me to answer uh, please you know drop them below in the comment section um, and then if um, uh, yeah, if there's if there's anything like um, you know that I haven't talked about here, uh, you'd like to hear more about, or uh, you know like a a different angle on some of the things that I brought up already, please just drop a comment down there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do a pretty in depth series on this. I I was just making a rough outline and realized that even in my outline I have like a hundred things in here, um, and uh, so th there's a lot of different different angles on this, different topics to cover. Uh, so anyway, I'll be doing more of these videos. I look forward to doing this. And uh, hopefully as I'm as I'm doing these, you know, I'll be uh, taking more questions. Um, the more feedback I can get, I think the more useful uh, these videos are going to be because I can really answer specific questions that you have. 
So uh, anyway, thanks for joining me today, and uh, I look forward to doing more of these videos. And uh, if you like this video, click like. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, please click the subscribe button down below to be notified about new videos. Uh, also, if you're interested in helping out the channel, I have links in the description to my Patreon page, as well as Amazon links to all the gear that I use to make these videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.